and welcome to the Tumbuckle Tea Talk. You're joined by me, John, and you're joined by my good friend. It's his wife's day, Kieran Keeper. How you doing, mate? I'm excellent. <laughs> um, obviously, Man City's just won the league. Um, yes, it certainly did. I, Man, Man United's just given up. I mean, I don't know what that's all about. Do you? Did you watch the game? Uh, yeah, I watched uh, watched most of it. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you're always going to win the league, but I'm just kind of annoyed that Man United just thought, "Ah, oh, just send out all the kids." It doesn't matter. Like, they, just, there was a slight chance that they, they could have took you to the wire, but I don't know what it did. Can't stop smiling. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, because right, the reason I say that is the first time you won it. You were seven points behind Man United at the same stage, mm. which is pretty much what it is now. So why they've put out a second team, I don't know, but well done. I think you've done really well. If you think one year like 14th at Christmas or something ridiculous. Yeah. You were, yeah. You were really down there, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so they've done really well. I mean, what can you say? Well done. <laughs> the thing is, right, you know what I mean? I just want to... I just want to say, all my friends that you're not Man City fans always make fun of City, saying, oh, it's about the money, it's about this and that. But every club has had money put into it. Chelsea, with, uh, Ima, what's it called, Ima Hamovic. The, yeah, um, don't like Chelsea either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's had money put into the football team, right? So that is just actually well, Man United spent a billion pounds in the last 10 years. A million pounds Man United spent in the last 10 years. And they've Quite won proven. nothing. So, however, yeah, I've got one of the best managers. However, I don't think I could truly say Manchester City are, are real legends, real champions until they won the Champions League. Once hmm. we've won the Champions League, then I can say, yes, we are champions. We've won every, every, every tournament, every cup we've won. So once we win, and it, mm -hmm. and it is once we win the Champions League, then I can finally say, you can say whatever you want, we are champions through and through. I mean, Chelsea kind of is your bogey team, aren't they? Yeah, but come on, how much have we <laughs> wanted this? And the last few years, you know, we we, we, group, we made it to group final, then the semi-final. Mm -hmm. um, that game against Tottenham, when they are ruled out, Sterling's goal. Oh, God, yeah. that was heartache. Um, you know... This I, is I, our year. You would think so. I mean, I've been playing really well. Chelsea are playing pretty well, though, in the Champions League as well, but... It's, it's but this is the it? last Champions League we can have without, uh, say, with Aguero. And he wants yeah. to, you know... So... It'd be so... It would be such a shame if, you know... He doesn't win it on his last because it was his last game won it for Man City. Yeah, pretty much. I think I mean Man City should have won it well before now. You know, I know. But... Um like I, I get where you're coming from, because I'm a, obviously I'm a Liverpool fan. And mine was always we need to win the Premier League because I've seen Liverpool win everything. Yeah. Apart from the Premier League. So that was what I was waiting on and you know. Yeah, yeah. When you get that trophy that you've not got, it's just an amazing feeling. But yeah, it's all you're waiting on, isn't it? Mm. So and then you get to go in the uh, the World Club competition, which is not easy to win either. Yeah, you can be champions of the um, world. <laughs> so, if you have just joined us, we are uh, doing tea talk. Uh, so yeah, today I've got a. Uh, I've got a celebrational lager with me. I'm, I'm on tea, mate. I'm just, I'm not happy. <laughs> I, I had to celebrate, you know what I mean? Um, well, I'm annoyed because, you know, I mean, we've had a bad season because we've had a lot of injuries and we're going for top four. So I needed Man United to kind of win to give us a chance of catching up with Leicester. And the fact that they've just laid down is really annoying. Mm. You know, uh, well, we're playing them first day. I hope we absolutely annihilate them because they, des they don't deserve to have a chance in any game they've got left. Manchester United is not the team 
that they used to be. They're just they're just not. They're missing that. Like, <laughs> this is the closest they've come, but it makes it even more bizarre. I just don't understand why you would put out a, play to the end. You've got a strong squad. Why have you put all your kids out? Yeah, it's very silly to me. I mean, I don't, it was a very slim chance we're ever going to actually contend for the title, but you know there was yeah. that slight chance. Why would you do that? I don't understand. Yeah. Sticking with football and kind of segueing into our theme for tonight, um, fans <laughs> will be allowed back very soon. Mm. Bojo, Mr. Boris Johnson, made an announcement yesterday, just confirming the the roadmap, and we are coming out of lockdown, and it's been, it's yeah. been a long what. 12, 15 months? Uh, pretty much. I mean, yeah, it was like last March, wasn't it? Um, yeah. The first lockdown. Um, for me, like, I feel quite lucky that I've only really had to stay in for one lockdown mm. because obviously I've, I've worked for the others. Um, but I don't know how you've done it. <laughs> yeah. He's waiting for that. Through all yeah. this. Now I um I put out some questions. I said, you know, I wanted to hear people's stories about, you know, lockdown and quarantine. Um, so I got a few responses. Mm. Um, I'm gonna send you some to read out, and then I'll read out some as well. Okay. Um, I haven't really properly looked at the questions, but I'm just gonna send you the the first two that I've got, and then you can read them out. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Main so, or Instagram or what? I, uh, I'm not quite sure. Of a mixture. Okay. So our theme tonight was to, because we because we come in a lockdown, our theme was to kind of get people's experiences of lockdown and their quarantine stories, that kind of thing. Um, we, you know, so we sent out the the message on social media about tea time. So we've had a few responses. Um, I'll read one, then you can read one. Okay. Okay, so this one is from Twitter. This is from JJ69. Good name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, maybe it's just his favourite number, his lucky number. What year he's born? Yeah, but that will make him old. He's born in 1969. <laughs> How old would he be yeah. then? He'd be like. Uh... 51. 51. Yeah, I don't think he's 51, especially okay. with the question. <laughs> JJ69 has put, um, want to feel stupid? Try homeschooling. <laughs> I've never felt so stupid in all my life. You were the same with you. Uh, I, yeah, I can, uh, I can vouch for that because, like, homeschooling, like, the, w the way they get taught now is completely different from when I got taught. And mm -hmm. it's all about like, it's all about like the words and kind of learning songs to kind of, you know, you know, have the memories of the songs, especially, yeah. you know, because my, my daughter's four years old. So she's learning um, at the alphabet and this kind of thing and whatever. So um, she's learning how to read as well. So the word, every, every letter, has a song now i've said this before right but it's imagine right because you get a video of um, some woman doing it and the, the, i could teach you doing it and you mm -hmm. have to copy them so the the video that you get sent is like this really happy middle class southern woman mm. and she's like hi everybody I don't, that's american accent i don't mind being american accent <laughs> she's american but she's like hi um today's letter is a for aunt and they did this phonics, which I've never heard of before. So, ah, is, yeah. ah, 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 ah. Yes, keep doing that. And then the song for A is, ah, ah, and so my arm, ah, ah, and so my arm, causing me alarm. Yeah, it's weird. I remember you saying that before. Imagine that for every single one. <laughs> oh, always, always horrendous. So I mean, one pops up. Hello, today's word is O for on. And the song goes, oh, 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 on, 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 oh, oh, on, <laughs> switch the lights on and off. <laughs> Imagine and that for like a month. 
Do they not like of Sesame Street anymore? I used to just like that. Obviously not. Where's Bert and Ernie? Well, they would have a letter. Yeah, where, where's the vampire? Come on, Bert. One, Rob, two. <laughs> right. um, we I are might Barney. have seen Sesame Street live, you know, in Winter Gardens once. That's probably one of the worst really. things you've said to me. Yeah, it was amazing. Big Bird was there. <laughs> yeah. Doing all the hits. Um, I used to love Sesame Street. I don't think yeah. it's on anymore. It used to be on Channel 4, doesn't it? Yeah. Even like, like I said, Barney. It was fun. Barney, and education. Barney was a bit creepy though, wasn't it? Barney. Mm. It's a bit weird. I like the, um, have you ever watched the mashup where they do a, like two pack cat and mop with Barney? So it looks like he's wrapped in it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it looks so funny. So, um, yeah. JJ69, I completely understand every, I understand your pain because like these videos are just, you know, the teachers are so energetic. Hi, everybody. You're like, oh my god, just kill me. <laughs> yeah. It's weird it's, they come up with these ideas, don't they? What well, I mean, it never does any harm, did it? I mean, it's just like this new kind of way of learning, you know, very visual, very kind of you know, with Is the song and stuff. Is it any better? Not for me. <laughs> no, no. Um I mean, so I've got one from Tarantino Girl. Tarantino you, you Girl. Quite, yeah, I like that name. It's quite good. Yeah. You've given me a sad one, Kieran. I don't know why. I didn't mean to. I literally just, I seen it and then I just, I just uh, two weeks, She said so. she broke her legs two weeks before the first lockdown. She was hobbling, hobbling around the house and she thought to herself, at least I've been night. Which I assume's a pet cat. Midnight. Midnight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, at least I have midnight for wait, company. Wait, before you carry on, who names a cat? Oh, well, I'm assuming it's Cat Midnight. Because it's black. Midnight, what a strange name. Um, okay, yeah, she, said, she thought to herself, at least I had Midnight for company. And then the second lockdown, it died. I mean, I assume from, like, second lockdown, her leg was better. Yeah, but then she lost a cat, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, well, first okay. lockdown, I had it. I think I was just getting better and then lockdown was announced, so I'd been yeah, in lockdown two weeks longer than everyone else. I was allowed to yeah. leave my room. You didn't have a broken leg though, did you? I wonder how no, she broke her leg. No, but I had corona. Do you reckon she was like trying to recreate that Kill Bill scene? I don't know. Have you ever broken anything? I broke my arm. Your arm? Um, well, oh. actually, like, right, I've got one fairly good story and one embarrassing story brought my arm because I, I, I was about seven I was on a bunk bed I tried to look under like under the bunk bed you know like at the top yeah I tried to look at the bottom bunk bed and I fell and landed on my arm right most kids do something similar um when I was about 17 I was running up the stairs and I tripped on the stairs and you know you you put your fingers out or your hands out to catch yourself on the stairs Mm, yeah, I did that, and I put my finger from like there all the way to down there. Oh, um, something finger, you can do for that, is there? Yeah, so it was just in a strap, um, and I broke my finger pretty bad. And I don't know if it was it happened because of that or whatever. I just found out because of that. But ever since that situation, I can do this. Really? Oh, you see that? It just the slightest touch. Yeah, very good. <laughs> it makes me a bit queasy that yeah look how much that pens I don't know so yeah. um, I've never broken anything I've had one stupid now John oh. you have what you've broken many girls hearts uh, um, I once fell off the sandcastle have I ever told you that story Sandcastle was in the water park. <laughs> so there's there's like gates there now to stop people climbing up it. But when I was a teenager, we used to climb up to the top of it just to say you could climb. And I was with my mate Chris at the time, and we were climbing up it, and I went first. And I went right to the top, and he started climbing up, and I'm a bit iffy with heights. So I was like, no, 
just wait till I'm at the bottom and then you go up. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I thought, right, that's fine. I said, when I get near him, I'll just step off and that'll be fine. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, he carried on climbing when I told him not to. And he was about halfway up. Now, the sandcastle's pretty tall, isn't it? Yeah. So the sandcastle's got like a, it's like that, isn't it? It's diagonal and you can climb up it. There's like a little thing like that. But the width of a person that you can sort of shimmy up. So when I got to him, I thought, oh, he's at the bottom. Because, you know, he's my mate. He's probably done what I've asked and stopped climbing. So I just stepped off. And <laughs> it felt like I was falling for a bit. Two minutes. It was so high up. Um, I kind of done my back end, so my back still hurts to this day. I smacked my head on the concrete. It was really sore. I suppose you now you know how a man thing. feels. <laughs> you lived with um, a man falling off, a, falling off <laughs> Well, yeah, I can imagine it. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty high fall. Luck. I think I was lucky that I landed flat on my back. But yeah, that happened. But I think oh, they, this, I think a lot of people do it now, but. Because they, they put like something to stop you doing it now. I reckon that um, Tarantino girl, maybe her pet isn't a cat at all. Maybe it's something like dead bizarre. Like, you know, some people have like, um, like, be a dog. Lizards. No, like lizard or like some kind of weird b bird. Right. Well, she got rid of Oh, he's just... <laughs> he's just carrying on with us. I just think, yeah. I just, I just want to know. I want to know more. How does she break her leg? And why is it a cat? If you're assuming it's a cat, why is a cat now called like Go Go? You know, from uh, Kill Bill. I don't know what I would call a cat. I'm not really into cats. See, now I have a cat, um, and he's called it's Vinny. The bait is it still baiting you? Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't my choice to get the cat. It was Molly's, and I. Okay. She convinced sure. me. And I said, "I said, oh right, yeah, let's get the cat." So. Mm. Anyway, um, thank you for your sad story. Um, I mean, you did ask for sad stories, and yeah, you, I hope you give me a sad story to read out, which I don't understand. I hope that midnight is in animal heaven, and I hope your leg is better. It should be. We've had three lockdowns since then. <laughs> yeah, but she might have got so upset about her animal that she just chucked herself down the stairs. <laughs> let's, let's, move, let's move swiftly on. Right, I've got one from um, Ryan106. 106. 106. Is that classic FM? Yeah, but you won't call yourself Ryan. <laughs> like... Right. It could be like a car, you know. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> why do you not call themselves the Danny? <laughs> eh? <laughs> I mean, he was quite quick on, you know, Twitter though, to get Ryan 106, you know what I mean? Some He's people... Like six, I don't imagine. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So, um... I want to try getting John, no chance. So what, what should... Oh, yeah, do, you, you, do you have Twitter? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm not really on it though. And what's your name on it? It's not John, is it? I think it was Jay Dugan 87. Jay Dugan. Hmm. Okay. What's yeah. your goals? Like the daddy. Keevan, Ke no. <laughs> no, no, John. Um, my first MSN username email was the daddy <laughs> when I was about 14 um, because I was cool. But to be fair, when. when when everyone was like 13, 14, they had uh, MSN names, people had some terrible names like I know somebody who had um, their name is Da Best you know what I mean it's, so don't judge me right? I, don't, I don't think there'd be many I mean there's a reason it wasn't taken Kieran <laughs> remember <laughs> you got that I don't think you were like so lucky to have that email <laughs> what was your first MSN name mine was Offspring under slash Omen Omen right. yeah I had the mate the one that told me that it was fake fire yeah, Whoa, yeah. Because I wanted like the offspring of that hot metal coming. It was taken, obviously, because they probably had it. And he goes, Oh, why don't you still like underscore Omen? And I was like, All right. So I did that. And I had that email until I was about 24. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't the daddy. 
Good daddy. Um, let's move on. Ryan what was your password? <laughs> my, do, you know, do you know what my password was? I, I can say wow. it now because it's... Um, so... <laughs> when I was about 13, my mum got me like a legit um, New York Yankees jersey. And it was it, lo- it looked really cool. Not on me. I like a little white one. <laughs> but it was really cool. Yeah. So my password, I kept putting everything and nothing would work. So I was like, I looked around and I just thought, right, ginger NY, NYC. <laughs> that, was my, that was my first password. Mine used to be, it's not anymore, it used to be Dr. Pepper because I used to drink a lot of Dr. Pepper. But that was back in the days when you didn't need numbers or capital letters or special yeah. characters. Remember them days? Weren't they the good days? Yeah. No, I can't remember you have, have, time. you have to have a capital a letter, uh, sorry, a capital number, then sometimes you even just have a little symbol as well. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Just let me have what I want. I don't care Ginger. if someone can guess it. Just let Ginger, me use NYC. it. I hate, oh, it's so annoying passwords at the minute. Especially when you forget and you go and change it and then they tell you you can't have one that you've previously had and you're like, yeah. Uh, well, I've been putting that and you won't let me in. Or when you try and log in and they don't tell you if, um, your username or your password's wrong, they just tell you it's one or the other and you've got to guess. Is yeah, my username yeah. wrong? Is my password wrong? I don't know. See, I like the ones that I go, listen, I know it's hard remembering your password <laughs> and everything. So I'll tell you what, why don't you give us um, your favourite car or your, 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 your pet yeah. name? <laughs> You're like, thank you. Thank, that's very kind of you. Oh, God. Tell me what, yeah. what was your first school? Tell me. <laughs> um, oh, I, hate, I just hate stuff like that. Why can't I just have a normal password with normal letters? Yeah. Um, right, Ryan 106. So, uh, so he says that he lost about two months during lockdown uh, due to TikTok. He says that he goes on, he goes on about TikTok for a a while, uh, but he basically says that it's very hypnosis uh, when you're watching it. You go down a wormhole with TikTok, I do. I could, you can easily spend an hour on it and not realise it's an hour. Well, I know why they call TikTok now, because they're taking the mick out of you. You watch it what? for hours. Well, yeah. But, like, it's, I mean, I used to do it on YouTube. When YouTube first came out, you'd, you'd go on YouTube yeah. and watch a video and then you'd be in a wormhole. You'd go on looking at a music video and you end up, you're watching how ants colonise. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what I do, I, on Facebook, if not, I have time to watch the videos, I save them on Facebook, right? Now, my favourite at the moment, don't judge me, right? Don't judge me. My favourite is a guy called Crazy Bushman. Right. And it's a man and he dresses as a bush and jumps out of people. <laughs> And it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Is that on TikTok? No, it's on uh, like Facebook videos. Oh, it might Facebook. be on TikTok, TikTok as well. But and he literally mm. dresses up as a bush and he just goes, Bruh! and it's like <laughs> it's just it's just quality entertainment at its best. My favourite thing on TikTok is there's this like guy who just goes up to random people and asks them a simple question. But like it's that simple that your mind goes blank. So he goes up to this girl and he'll be like, name a, for a dollar, name a woman. And she's like, name a woman? And he's like, name a woman. And she's like, uh, na- name a woman? <laughs> for a good like couple of minutes. And she's like, uh, uh, he's like, name a woman. She's like, why is this so hard? She can't name a woman. <laughs> it's just about, right. there's one as well. He goes up to this. It's not being racist when I say this. He goes up to a black woman and he goes, name a white celebrity that you like. And she's like, uh, uh, because your mind just goes blank. I don't... Name that, a woman. That's just stupid. I love that. It's funny. If you put me on the spot and said, name a woman, I could name a name woman. Name a woman. Name a woman. Fran. Fran. Jessica. No, name a famous woman. Name a Jessica woman. Jessica Albert. <laughs> Jessica Simpson. Who's Jessica Albert? Yeah, Jessica Albert. She's a real celebrity. Maybe not since the 90s, but she is. Do you mean Jessica Alba? Yeah, that's what I said. You said Albert. Uh, well, what's her name? Jessica? Alba. Alba. Yeah, that's what I said. Jessica Alba. <laughs> Alba. 
Anyway, um, so my miss, I know, I know, they watch it like my missus does, right? And she's mm-hmm. there watching it for about a couple of hours. I said to her, "What are you watching?" And she goes, "Oh, you won't believe it. Look at this. It's a guy who cleans pools." Yeah, I watched that one. I was like, "Did you watch it?" Fascinating. I was like, what? I was like, "What? That's what you've been watching for the last two and a half hours." She went, "Yeah, look." He just cleaned up Stacey Solomon's pool. Yeah, I was going to say Stacey Solomon's. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was that, um, it was that uh, thingy from Football Focus as well. He brought me the tea and biscuits. No, uh, Football oh, Focus. Uh, uh, I can't remember his name, but yeah. Yeah, I've she, watched that one as well. And she's like, look, look, this, this is, uh, this is uh, Jesse Lingard's pool. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> And it's just is... going, so you scrub the tiles and you put your chemicals in. Yeah, I don't know why we watch it. It's just really weird. I can't believe it. I was like, that's what you've been watching for two hours. Oh, yeah, it's dead good. I watched one and it's just a Welsh guy uh, commenting on, you know, like the um, life hacks. That was just ridiculous. Right. But, and that's all it is, but it's quite funny. I'm just commenting. Do you want... I mean, I've seen a few TikToks, but the one that comes to mind um, that I really like, um, I've just got it now. What's the one that I, like, I do like on TikTok? I don't know, but I can't remember. But because I, I don't really watch it, but you get all these like stupid challenges where, like, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. That's it's all that dances, isn't there? The one that I liked was where um, the mother. And the son of the daughter is in on the on the gag, and the mum says to the son of the daughter, "Like, go and clean your room." And then the child says, "Shut up, mum." And then mm. they get the reaction of the dad. Yeah. And some dads flip. Mm. That's quite funny. Yeah, I've seen ones like that. Uh, it's TikTok is kind of like the COVID sort of lockdown thing, wasn't it? Yeah. As a segue into that, that's kind of what my comments about. It's from Dr. Aaron. Now, I don't know if he's a real doctor. I don't think he's a real doctor. Were you Maybe a real dad likes... at the time? <laughs> Maybe he likes Dr. Pepper. Maybe. Or maybe it's um, like, a, you know, like, a, like a pimple popper. Oh, I hear Amber do it. Does yeah, there's an actual program of that on Sky? Have yeah, you seen it? like I said, my missus, she loves it. And oh, do you know what? Mate. I watch it, but it, I, I, I don't know. It's great, it makes, but I still watch sick. it. It makes me gag. Um, see, see, with horror films and that, I'm not scared of horror films. I'm scared of like the when you see an injury, like bone poking through skin or a bit of blood on them. Do you like, remember Ugh. that TV program on MTV called Scarred? That was no. hosted by the, it was hosted by the guy from Papa Roach, and it was like right. injuries, like skateboarding, BMX, and the injuries were. Grim. Yeah. Um, I like the thing about the pimple popper, uh, Dr. Lee, she she goes, Hi, welcome. Um, you don't look like you have any any injuries like, or any any you know big pimples. Where is it? And then it's hidden and it's lifts up the top and then this big thing goes oh, done. It's making me feel <laughs> sick just thinking about it. It was I watched a little bit the other day and it lasted about a minute and I was like, no, I'm out. And it was like this. It was this 80-year-old woman and she had a blackhead on the side of her face that had been there. She, they said, when's the last time you, like, s- squeezed that? She said, 30 years ago. And it was the size of, like, a 2 p piece. She goes, the problem with that is <laughs> if we took it out, you're just going to have a massive hole in your face and we're going to have to, like, stitch it up. And I was like, right, I'm out. I don't want to see this come out. I'm out. <laughs> um, my, name, my name's John Dugan and I'm out. Ammo. <laughs> uh, yeah, so PC Aaron said he was thankful for Zoom during lockdown, but I never want to do any kind of Zoom quiz in my life again. So it's a Zoom quiz, read my lips, guess the slogan, guess the song. See, I, I never... mean, everyone kind of did Zoom quizzes at the start, and then yeah. about three weeks in, everyone was like, no, I've had enough now. Well, we did, um, we did like a Zoom quiz and then we did, um, so I did a Zoom meeting, like, you know, like a family chat. 
with some of Molly's families and some of my family, but family members that I probably never even talked to. I don't know why they've <laughs> yeah. been on my Zoom chat. <laughs> why, why are you there? Um, I mean, I found it, I like quite Zoom because obviously a lot of my family's in Scotland, so, and I would usually go up every few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, so but I can you imagine, good, like, I, I mean, I did a few games on Zoom, but I never did re read my lips. No, I think that'd be quite difficult. That. We just did Zoom quizzes, and we took yeah. tons of hosts in it. Yeah, that's what we it did. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. A little fact that I learned from my Zoom pub quiz, you know, days. Um, you know the, um, the, the, is it the Royal Opera House in Sydney? Mm -hmm. You know, the massive um, landmark in Australia. Yeah. Do you know what the... The Sydney the, Opera House. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Australia. All right. Um, yeah. Do you know what it's modelled after? Is it an armadillo? Nope. That Go would on. make sense because, you know, Australia, armadillo. I think I know this, but I can't remember. Go on. Orange, a pieces of orange, you know, like the clementine, whatever. Is that? Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? That is weird. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. Um, Educational. But yeah, read my lips. I think that'd be very difficult on the... Uh, sh should we give it a go? Should we give what? it a quick go? <laughs> read my lips. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know. Do you want a song or a movie? Or, yeah. or, or do you want like, an, uh, uh, an animal that... What, what would you like? An animal. An animal. Oh, okay. Elephant. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was quite good. Oh, go on. You, you, you go. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> uh, let's do an animal. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> what? There you go. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm not... Your favourite Rang... animal, apparently. <laughs> A red, red panda? <laughs> Is that what it was? I, I, I have no idea. That would so do it's... one more. But okay. Piece of food, yeah, food item. Okay. <clears throat> Cheese on toast? No. Chili con carne? Yeah. Are you good at this? Chili <laughs> con carne. Or maybe I'm good at pronouncing. Maybe. Right, go on, food item. A food, a food item. Mm. He's a chef and it's going to be difficult. It's going to be like, you know, some exotic, like foie gras or something. Foie gras. <laughs> uh, why, why are you so long? I thought I'd take it, but then they carried on. So, make it bigger. <laughs> You're not going to get it. Pizza and chip, pizza and chips. No. I don't know. What? What is it? Mince and tatties. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> um. Good. Good game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't. Do people still do Zoom quizzes? I don't know. I mean, I can only <clears> Zoom now to, for like birthdays and that. I think. Yeah, I mean, they were very heavy on Zoom, weren't they? Mm. Oh, God. We did, like, um, like a picture round. That was quite good. Mm. Um, so we had, I can't remember what the answer was, but it was like, um, what was it? It was like an actor, then there was a picture of a knee. Right. And this again, you had to put the, put the picture together. Right. And that, that was quite good. I fair. like stuff like that because I like quiz shows. I think I'd be yeah. quite good on a quiz show. But then when you're doing it every week and you're yeah, got questions that every week, you're like, Zoom was good, but now Zoom is over. I don't want to see it again. I, I understand what, what this guy... Was it a guy or a girl? Sorry. 
who's oh, Dr. Yeah, Aaron. Doctor, yeah, Dr. Aaron, um, yeah. yeah. I think the problem was as well, as if you don't want to do it, you have to come up with an excuse. So you can't be like, oh, I'm going out because everyone was so in. Yeah. <laughs> Just washing my hair tonight. Yeah, <laughs> you, you literally had to go, no, I'm sick of doing Zoom quiz. It's yeah. totally the baby. <laughs> um, yeah. Anything else? Uh, no, that's the only questions we got. I mean, like I said, we, did, we put the question on there quite late. Was, yeah, that's but, not too bad, though. I mean, we've had one sad one. Well, yeah. Rest in peace, nightmare. Um. So, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to getting back to work because mm. I missed out on so much money. Um, and it's funny, you know, because like when I'm at work, I just think. God, I'd love a bank holiday off. I'd love a weekend mm. off. And I've had so many bank holidays off, so many weekends off. And now I'm thinking, I just want to get back to work. Um, it's the thing, you're never going to have that amount of time off ever again. Yeah. Do you think you appreciate it or do you think it was just too much? I did at first, but then it did get too much. The first lockdown mm. was brilliant because I don't get to play video games as much as it you know, as I would like because of work and the new Tony mm. game came out and I was like, oh my God, thank you, Jeebus. This is like the perfect, this is a sign. <laughs> this is like, you know, Tony Hawk came out like pretty much the same time as, you know, with the lockdown. So the mm. first few weeks I was just playing Tony Hawk. Like I was, I went to uni, right? So I have a master's in doing F all and eating, you know, big bags of crisps and drinking and doing I prepared three years at University of Carlisle <laughs> for all this moment yeah so I was there playing Tony Hawk you know like a, um, a KFC um, KFC gravy stained Manchester City shirt <laughs> I had my jogs on full of like um, Dorito dust on my joggers <laughs> just playing a Tony Hawk um, it was you know I mean it was great mm. I play, well I played couple of video games but like I was doing at my house so so a good one I played with Freya was uh, I can't think of the name of it but it's a two player and you're both prisoners in a prison and you've got to escape from jail together and one of you is sort of so the, the characters are one sort of really he's, he's not maybe in prison he's really like straight and uh, clever and thinks things through and one sort of off the wall and sort of crazy. I played the off the wall and crazy one. We played that together. It was quite fun. Was it like a third person shooter, like puzzle game? A little bit, yeah. So you you it was split screen and you'd have to do little jobs together to sort of try and escape from this prison. It was really good. Wow, okay. um, I can't remember the name of it. But... See, new games I'm not that familiar on. Um... Like I said, it's on my Xbox, way out or something. Oh yeah. mm. On my Xbox, I have um, Streets of Rage, the mm. ones you know, the classic ones. But then the new Streets, Streets of Rage came out as well. Yeah, now, I don't think you ever played that, Streets yeah. of Rage or like Golden Fair Axe. Mm. But like God, I just love them games so much. Like that, that's like my perfect. Because when I grew, up, when I grew up, I was very lucky. I had a Mega Drive, which was one of the best consoles. I had a Dreamcast, a like Sega Saturn. Mm. You know what I mean? Right, so, classic game. Well, I've still got Mega Drive and I've got all the games on it. Yeah, that's... Like, I've got the original Mega Drive. I think it's Mega Drive 2. I played um, Duke Nukem 3D recently. Ah, uh, I used to love that. It was like, yeah. when I first got a sort of decent computer, it came with that. And I used to play it all the time. One of my, one of my favourite games ever... And it was because of the game as well, but it's also because it was the first multiplayer you can actually play, like, you know, split screen and stuff. So me and my brothers played it. We played about four people on this one game. It was Unreal Tournament. Yeah, I remember that. Unreal Tournament was play school. unbelievable. It's so good. And that so, paved the way for, like, stuff like Quake, Halo. Yeah. You know, it's just, what a um, game. I used, to, I used to have Quake... Uh, but on Real Tournament, someone had sort of hacked the school computers and um, installed it, and we all used to play it. I bet um, I was Dr. Aaron. Stuff. That 
That was Dr. Owen. <laughs> That's why he's a doctor. Uh, there was that. There was theme, horse, uh, theme park was on it. Somebody had yeah, installed yeah. theme park for a lot to play. Um, but yeah, I used to love Unreal Tournament. I've not played that in years. God, I'd love to play. Can you? Because you've got um, not illegal games, because that obviously we, we, you know, you don't do stuff like that. But mm-hmm. could you um, dig that out, Jack? And... I can get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got I've got some of my original PC games. There was a game I used to play called Blood. Okay. And it's um, I don't know if it was banned, but I looked. So it's just a PC ROM game, and I looked it up on eBay. Like, how much is it worth? And it was it's on like eBay for like ninety quid. Wow. It was quite a graphic game. One of your weapons in it was a deodorant can and a lighter. <laughs> huh. What was the so game that was, was quite, massive um, on PC? Black and White, is it, I think, on PC? That was a bit of a big game. I remember Black and White, yeah. 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 Grand Theft Auto, the original Grand Theft Auto used to play all the time on PC. But do you know what's funny about it? Especially at like, the original Grand Theft Auto, you know when you're like, it's the bird's eye view. Mm. I, remember I used thinking, to play for hours. Yeah. I remember thinking, Wow, this is what again? The graphics are the so pinnacle. good. Yeah. And then you skip to like a few years later, and you look back and you think, "What the hell was that?" It's just well, I mean, I've loved every Grand Theft Auto, but you had like I used to love Grand Theft Auto London. Did you ever play that? No. That was so good. It was set in London. It was over the one where you're looking over the cars and the London cars. It was so good. And then Grand Theft Auto Two. I remember when that came out and I was like, oh my God, the graphics on this are amazing. Yeah, yeah. And it was still, it was over the like same sort of view. It was just the cars were a bit more refined. Yeah. So what's your, your favourite GTA? Ginger. I see, I think Vice City is I'm so, so good. I'm so glad you said that. I thought you were going to say The only problem but, with it is it's such a small map, but they rushed to get it out. I think yeah. I'm, I'm sure Vice City was only out sort of 10 months after GTA 3. Yeah, but it was quite a quick rollout of it. You say it's a small map, but their small map is like still pretty big. I mean, San Andreas was good because it was just massive, wasn't it? But yeah. Vice City, the soundtrack, yeah, you know, it was set in the 80s. There's so much, it's a good storyline. It's this, yeah, yeah. It, it was, it was cool. Um, I'm hoping the next GTA, that's what they do, is go back and do a base setter, like, mm. proper. But I love all the Grand Theft Auto games. Yeah. What base setting on the PC somewhere as well? It's all good. So, um, yeah. my work opens on the 17th, you mm. know, because we're an indoor bar, so we get to go... So what's the deal though? Is that you've got to take? Have you, is it like it was, sort of, after the second one? You've got to like book a table. Uh, yeah, booking most probably booking. You probably do. We might do walking, but most probably recommended booking. You have to scan in. You have to sit down at the table. It's all table service, and we have an app mm. as well. Um, and all kinds of I don't mind the table mask. service. <laughs> no, it's alright if you have it. But you have to wear a mask if you go to the toilet. And then, if I go to plan in this roadmap, one month after that, everything's going to go back to normal. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully we're on track. I still haven't got my vaccine yet. I'm still waiting for that. And now, I got a message the other day. Oh, you see my status, didn't you? Mm. I've got, I'm booked in for my second one. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not got my first one yet. I think should be due it pretty soon, hopefully. Um, this has been a good tea talk. I've enjoyed this. Hmm. It's or been a while that like, we've done anything because I've just been busy. Yeah, it's John's fault. You know, as you can see, I now have a door. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been doing stuff like that. So doing scouting boards and stuff, so I've not had a chance. So, but just like, now, um, but I think we've just had like a short break, so now it should be back to regular when Kieran's. It's more when you're available now, isn't it? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm easy, mate. I'm easy. <laughs> um, but hopefully, we're recording some stuff together soon as well, like in yes. person. Um, we've got some good filming coming on very soon. Just look out for that. Mm. 
Uh, I want to thank everyone for the questions. Um, yeah. Keep sending them, man. Yeah, always yeah. Wait to answer questions. Yeah. Um, mm. I just want to end, you know, with um, just remind you, John, as a Liverpool fan, that we are <laughs> we are champions. Um, no. so. I'm quite lucky though, because obviously I've said to you, I've sent you a picture the other day. I went to visit Anfield. And when I was, I got a picture with the Premier League trophy and the Champions League trophy, which at the time of the picture is we were still champions at that point. So yeah. it was quite nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that was quite good doing a stadium tour. I've got one booked to the Etihad. I had it booked mm. ages ago, but it got cancelled and stuff. I but yeah, but this ages ago, like he was only outside, but it was quite a good tour. Mm. And seeing like Premier League trophies, pretty cool. We're you know going how to, big it is. Yeah. We're going to the Etihad and we're going to the training ground as well. That's cool. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, got a, I was right by the pitch and that. It was amazing. We played the night before love, and you wouldn't even know. I love the uh, the picture where you're in this, you know, the man managerial seat just like... Uh, <laughs> that was Freya. So that was, uh, that's actually Klopp seat I was in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Freya's like, look like you're managing a game. And I'm like, oh, I hate posing. She was like, just point somewhere. So that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, um, yeah, it's yeah. really good. Comfy seats. I mean, he's never sat in it because he's always up in it. But that <laughs> um, yeah, was quite fun. Good little tour. Good. Mm. But yeah, um, thank you for joining me, John. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> and we go celebrate. Um, Oh. Good luck in the I mean I see you before that. There's a good luck in the Champions League, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay, so well nervous. Liverpool Liverpool will probably need you to win so that fifth place gets in the Champions League, so depending on what we happens before then. Mm. But yes, um if you're watching this, thank you for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe on our YouTube channel. Um, on our Instagram, we have a link tree, which has got all our links on there. You know, podcast, Facebook, Instagram, and merch. Everything's mm. on there. Um, like I said, you can always give us a message. Say hi to John. You know, <laughs> whatever. So, um, yeah. yeah, we'll probably be doing a tea talk where we're actually sharing a pot of tea. If Kieran has one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so have you got any questions for that? anything we can talk about uh so send them in yeah. like and subscribe drop us a review got some good reviews so mm. if you want to add to that much appreciated that's it that. <laughs> see you later see ya <laughs>